What's up guys, Kramer Conversations back here again, another quick video, I uh, hope everyone is doing okay out there and staying safe and you know making making smart decisions. Uh, real quick guys, I said it in uh, my last video when I kind of did a uh, update on all my tanks that I would be redoing, rescaping my Aquion 36 gallon bow front. So this is just kind of a quick look i'll do a you know a, a quick overview of the you know the changes i made um just kind of want to share that with you uh see what you guys think maybe give me some feedback or opinions you know i i, I enjoy that but let's see the first thing i did in the process uh obviously you know i drained it took the fish out i have a uh an empty tank so i drain some of the t the, the tank water that was in there, uh, put the fish in, uh, all the fish are doing, are doing fine. I said it before that I did remove some fish that I took out a couple rainbows. They're in the 29 gallon with some of the angel fish. Um, but once I got the fish out, I drained it. I kept a lot of the substrate that you see in there. Um, it's still from the original skate. Why did I do that? A couple reasons. First one is for the beneficial bacteria. As you guys know, as far as when it comes to cycling tanks, you need to have established beneficial bacteria. For those of you who don't know, your substrate or gravel or sand or dirt, whatever you're using, uh, is probably one of the, the number one place to house beneficial bacteria. So I kept a lot of the substrate in there if you guys remember i had like a you know kind of a triangle layout where it was sloping and most of the, the substrate the soil i think i even had um dirt and things over here as well most of it was over here so pretty much i slid that over towards the middle which allowed me to bank up the back of it the rocks that you see in there uh oh um let me let me back up the the second reason is because i knew i was going to be you know replanting a lot of the plants so that's another reason I kept the, the substrate. That was a nutrient-rich uh, substrate. All the plants that you see in there, except for a couple, were, were grown in that original setup. So that's the second reason that I kept uh, a lot of the substrate. The rocks that you see in there, all except for the big one right there, were from the original scape. I took out uh, the wood, the spider wood, and all that kind of stuff. Really wasn't... Uh, happy with how it was looking wood over time will deteriorate although i did keep uh if you guys remember this might have been the first piece of driftwood i ever bought this kind of triangle piece right here it was over uh in this corner here uh, and i just moved it across the thing i still have uh the big anubius there uh like i said a lot of the plants the crypts in the front that you see here crypts for alice all those kind of things those are those are all from that original setup uh, what's different, um, probably the obvious difference is the scape, plus I painted the background. If you guys remember, I, uh, I painted the background on a 65 gallon, um, so when I got the water out of this one, I saw an opportunity, I turned it around, spray painted the back of it, and I absolutely loved the way it looks. It really makes the green from the plants and the yellow from the fish and the blues and the iridescent colors and all those kind of uh, colors. It makes them really, really pop and uh, gives the tank a really cool look. Uh, as far as plantings, I kind of mentioned, as far as plants, excuse me, I kind of mentioned there's crypts in there. There's uh, some crypt, uh, uh, what's that, crypt, when when Wendetti green and when Wendetti brown. Got some crypts moralis, got some uh, liguigigit, lig oh boy. Liguigia, look, oh, somebody help me. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, can't pronounce that damn thing. Uh, I got some Java fern in there, some more Anubius. Uh, this this big Anubius right here is attached to a rock. I bought that at uh, my local pet store. I absolutely love it. Uh, another addition I made to the tank is this, uh, where is it at? This lava rock right here. I've really been wanting to use lava rock. So lava rock... Um, I've heard, and maybe you guys can confirm, um, but I've heard a lot of people say it is great for housing beneficial bacteria. It holds up well. And I found, uh, 
found this in where did I find this at Home Depot or Lowe's I think and it had this really cool red red color so I thought I would give that a try so far so good I like it uh, one of the only maybe drawbacks I see is uh, it's, it's a bigger you know granule it's bigger than your you know soil and sand and things like that so there's a chance food and stuff like that might get trapped in there so I got to keep up on my water changes but all in all I really like the way it looks what else? Filtration is the same. Lighting is the same. Fish are doing well. Uh, I, I can't wait to see, you know, when this 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 middle area here with the crypts and everything grows in and fills in. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, but it, it's 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 a fresh it's a fresh start. It's a fresh scape uh, for this tank. I absolutely love this tank. You guys know how I feel about it. For the longest time, it was the biggest one I had. I love the bow front look. Um, so I can't wait, you know, to hear what you guys think about it. Uh, any questions or comments, as always, leave them down below. And again, uh, you know, stay safe. Uh, use some, you know, use and, and make smart decisions out there. Um, and, uh, you know, take care of one another. Other than that, see you guys down the road. Bye.